All right, today we are going to learn how to decap side feed injectors for um, STI, Nissan, whatever you guys got. These uh, Subaru ones have a uh, aluminum cap on the end of them. I don't know if they all do, but um, it's kind of a pain to get off. But um, I got some pliers here that fit over the end really well from Harbor Freight. And uh, it makes it pretty easy. So, see, so we get this right in the groove, and then we can use some side cutters and just you don't have to squeeze very hard, but it'll just give you a really good leverage to pry, um, and it'll pop it right off when you get the right angle here. Sometimes you have to get this plastic um, space right away. It makes your life a lot easier. You don't have to, but all right. And then they sell seal kits on eBay or wherever you get your parts from. So it'll have a new tip. Um, it'll have a plastic replacement for this aluminum one. It'll be a lot easier when <laughs> you're not trying to hold a camera in front of you and do it, but there's other ways to do this. This is just the method I have found. Almost. There we go. Uh, looks great. All right. Let's see. Looks fine. All right. So the screen. I'll show you that in a minute. All right. So we got to grind the screen off, and we can't go very deep because you don't have much margin for error here. So. The only way you can do this, besides with a belt sander, which works really well, is with these sanding wheels. If you use this, you will damage your injector, so don't do it. You have to be very patient. If you're not very skilled with this, you can use finer grit sandpaper. If you feel very comfortable with it, then you can use coarser grit and it'll go faster. But um, you just keep taking little sands off and you'll eventually, uh, it'll pop right off. Sorry, I ran out of video recording. So we're getting close. If you have a belt sander, do it real fast on the belt sander. That's how I did the other couple, but uh, trying to show an easy at home method. Not everybody has a. I think it's loose.
There it is. Focus. There we go. See? If I ground a little more, it would have popped right off. But there you go. If you have any grinding marks in the tip, then you went too far. All right, so I shot this video today with the GoPro, and it's difficult to hear me, so I'll just do voiceover. So I got the injector decapped and sprayed off with brake clean and ready to put the new seals on. So I got this seal kit off eBay. It was $15. It comes with all of them. They claim made in USA, and it, it does look to be in good quality. I can put a link in the description. So it's pretty straightforward. Just put your O-rings back where um, they came off. And uh, we're going to have to press this screen on in the vise with a socket. It doesn't quite seat down all the way. But you just got to install the spacer in the uh, correct way, of course. And then the O-ring. And that is the plastic retainer to replace the aluminum one we had to pry or cut off. And it does snap on there very well. It's not going anywhere. And these should flow around 800. You definitely should have them flow tested, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. If you don't care about your engine, definitely don't flow test them. Um, I've sent them out before. They usually flow pretty even, but if you have a defective one, it won't flow good. So that's your disclaimer. I don't want you leaving the comments that you didn't flow test it and uh, it blew up your motor because one flows 100 cc's less than the others. Well, it turns out they do need to be pressed more because they don't go in. So, um, let's see, 21 millimeter cobalt socket fits really good on here. If you don't have a vise. Um, I'm sorry because you're gonna have to get creative, but I mean, if you're gonna do this kind of stuff, you gotta have some tools or lots of tools. Look at that, it goes right in. There we go. So, yeah, it does need to be below that 